Hello everybody, my name is Mike Kanick and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, La Resistance. We are continuing on as China and mid-war actually. Well, I don't know how far in the war we are with Japan, but uh, we are most definitely at war with Japan and taking up some pretty juicy territory, guys. I mean, uh, we are basically mopping up after Japan. Wherever they conquer, we conquer behind them and we are taking some really really nice resources for example in the last episode we got all of this rubber down here uh a lot of its infrastructure is still being repaired so that we can get all of it but um yeah we're doing okay we're doing okay for ourselves uh we are still suffering naval invasions here and there and we are going to go ahead and mop those up as you can see right up here what do we got we got uh four divisions down here i am counting guys i am counting Ferris, this one's for you. I can count. That's one, two, ten. Plus two is twelve. That's twelve divisions. Okay, no, not really. That's uh, two, four, uh, a lot of Japanese divisions. Um, I got other stuff to talk about, so I'm not really worried about that. But we got a lot of Japanese divisions that we are about to cut off and destroy. Uh, especially down here. Uh... These Japanese divisions are actually allowing us to conquer territory in British Rajasthan, which I'm pretty happy about, and I know they are not. And that's fine. That's fine. We will deal with that when the time comes. But guys, uh, first things first, I want to let you know I did finally set up a public Discord. I will leave a link down in the description below. And I hope that you guys do join. Uh, there are currently only sections for Hearts of Iron 4 and Imperion, uh, two of the biggest, you know, games on this channel. It makes sense to do so. Uh, so please, if you are so inclined, uh, give a join and come talk to me and everyone else as it happens because uh, YouTube can be really clunky, guys. We all know that, uh, especially, you know, as me as a creator trying to communicate with you guys, you know, it, there's... A really limited platform to do that you know through YouTube I can either just put out a community comment or reply to your comment but I would like some I would like more free interaction so I'm happy to propose that to you guys and I hope that you join and anyway let's get on with this so yes we are suffering some naval invasions here and there not a huge deal uh, the biggest thing that I'm concerned with right now honestly is our infiltration of the German army because that is what's hopefully going to get us some German panzers. Uh, we have Bruce Lee here. Wait, who is this? No, Secret Claw here. He has been forced into hiding at least for another 37 days. But I have uh, our two other spies here. They are infiltrating the army. And as it stands right now, it looks as though the Russians have fought the Germans to a standstill. Um, I mean, two episodes ago, this uh, the Russians had just fallen back behind the river here, but uh, yeah, it looks like they're, they're not doing so well for themselves, and they are being invaded. Ooh, Free France has invaded uh, Western and Northern France. So yeah, Germany isn't doing so hot. They're not doing so well, which is fine because we're at war with them too, if you guys recall, since we are at war with Japan. So let's go ahead and get this kicked off. Uh, what we need to do here is cut off and destroy these divisions. They did manage to get themselves a port, so we have to take that port. Otherwise, this is going to be a real short campaign. Okay, so let's get some divisions up and around here. What do we have here? We have... Okay, we have... Oh, boy. I mean, I guess they're going to win. There's only four divisions there, but we still have to get more up and around them. So let's go ahead and not leave this to chance. Uh, yeah, certainly not leave this to chance. Let's go ahead and bring these guys up and around. Ooh, that's not good. I'm really unhappy with our port defense units, guys. They have been kicked out of quite a few ports. Which kind of defeats the purpose of having them, so I will either have to rearrange their composition or just disband them entirely, but 
All right, how are we doing out here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. Economy is contained. Thank you. Uh, we are not signing any non-aggression packs, just so you know. Because I will guarantee peace to nobody. To nobody. All right, we got another destroyer sink. Oof, okay. All right, let's go, let's go. Alright, so it looks like we did kick them out of the port there. I assume that's the port. Beijing? Yeah, that, that could be the port. No, no, keep attacking. Keep doing your thing there, guys. Or maybe Tianjin is the port. In any case, I can't be 100% certain because this... Oh, God, come on, really? They should be out of supply, if I am correct. Okay, so yes, we did take their port from them. So let's go ahead and do this. And they should be out of supply? Yes, they are completely out of supply. And we have got to wrap these divisions up. What is going on here? And why is there a port defense unit down here? Where did you derelict your duty from? Where do you go? You must go somewhere. Huh. Yeah, you're supposed to be at a port. So let's get you up to a port. Not okay. I'm going to have to re redo our entire port defense, guys. It, it's just not working out for us. It's really not. Uh, that's our... Naval base you're doing. Okay, fine. Okay, so our Navy, guys. We have a fleet of nine subs who is out and about trying to sink stuff. Uh, they should be active in both these regions. So I want to do a wolf pack of ten subs. There we go. And we have a heavy cruiser, which is trained up. And we have the first of our next... Uh, division of subs. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's get these guys out. And let's go ahead and set you to convoy rating as well. Perfect. Alright. So I am happy with that. At least we are starting to make some kind of influence in the, in the ocean. You know, like, it's... Oh god. No, you stop right here. And you stay right here. Yeah, these divisions are just not up to task. These are the divisions given to us by Shanzi, and no wonder. I am not leaving my national security up to them. They are useless and bastards. And also dumb. Okay, so let's remove you from this order here. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up and do one of these. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll send him up there. I know that's kind of a goofy thing to do, but let's also look down here. The Japanese are cut off entirely. Yeah, they have no port here. Let me make sure that's true. Okay, yeah, they have no port here. So let's go, guys. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Interesting. Um... Um... There we go. Okay. And we will take these territories from Japanese, but also from British Rajasthan, which, guys, is eventually going to put us at odds with them. I'm not too thrilled about that one there. That's going to be bad. I think we all know that's going to be bad. The United Kingdom declared war on Iceland. Well, how about that? And, uh, yeah, Iceland probably joined the Axis. No, they joined no one. They're just, they're just being bullied by, by the UK. Fine, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and check out some of the naval results here. Um, all right, we're doing okay. We're still sinking their screening ships. We got a light cruiser, destroyer there. So, yeah, any time their ships pass through the East China Sea, they are paying a price and it looks as though we are sinking some of their ships to and from 
uh, repairs as well because you know they're not part of a fleet they're just part of uh, well they're not part of anything it's just a single ship going to and from repair so that's good so that will likely accumulate and uh oh German right called Iceland okay I'm not too worried about Iceland guys I wasn't worried about Germany to begin with so oh man so there are a lot of Japanese divisions here about to get overrun. Let's see. What are their casualties like now? They, they must be huge. Yeah, they are at 1.99 million casualties. Uh, 2 million. What are their divisions like? They can't. They can't possibly have these divisions to throw away. Yeah, look at that. They have 22 to 56. So I'm going to guess somewhere in the high 30s, low 40s. Uh, the amount of divisions they have and they are about to lose a good portion of those because uh, what do we have here we have six uh eight nine ten divisions over here that are about to be overrun okay so we got ten divisions here let's come on come on guys everybody everybody get in there get in there there we go so we got ten divisions there um, what do we have down south here? We have another at least... Okay, we got one, two... Okay, well, a bunch just got overran. Guess we got one, two... Six. Another six divisions. So, 16 divisions are about to get overrun and destroyed. And they are still fighting us with uh, naval invasions. Not the smartest move, but it is the AI, so I am not that upset about it. Come down here, please. We cannot lose that port. Guys, are you paying attention? Okay, so we are winning, but... I mean, just barely, just barely. We should have put a lot more divisions into this. Okay. Oh, Shiza. All right, okay. Stay here, stay here. All right, let's go ahead and destroy that armor division. And for Japan, that's no small loss, guys. That is really no small loss. Uh, Japanese armor is at a premium, and it's garbage to begin with. I think everyone knows that, but... Um, yeah, it's not something that they can easily replace. So let's go ahead and come down here. Attack them. We got another ace pilot promoted. All right. Good. Okay. So now yeah, we have the Japanese contained to one province. And how are they doing? Not so hot. Not so hot. So let's go ahead and wait for these guys to melt. And after which we will go ahead and check the casualties again. Because we did just wipe out 16 Japanese divisions. And let's go ahead and have a look. Wow. Yeah. So we just killed about 110,000 Japanese that's a lot, guys. That's a, a huge amount. So, all right. I'm happy with that. Uh, okay, we're sinking some destroyers here. Some convoys. Two subs. What else? What else? Are we... Oh, wow. Look at that. How did that happen? Okay, so we have uh, 266 airplanes attacking this fleet. And they were not able to defend at all. They We sunk a carrier, light cruiser, destroyer, six subs. Wow, I am so thrilled with that. And how are the Japanese doing? Yeah, they're still cutting off our supply, which is a problem. Because, because we're kind of in a chicken or the egg situation. We have to create more convoys. Uh, to get the supplies that we need to defeat the Japanese. But we can't defeat the Japanese without more supplies and convoys. So um, so I moved convoys all the way to the top here. And how are we doing? I mean, ugh. it's also the reason why we cannot navally invade down here. We have no spare convoys, guys. We just have divisions sitting around. So, <clears throat> pardon me. Yeah, it's bad. It's just bad all the way around. So let's go ahead, get rid of that. Uh, we are having resistance here, and that's fine. I figured that we would, so... Ooh! 
Ooh, what's this? Japan has invaded Calcutta. Interesting tactic there. I'm not sure why they would do that, but okay. Yeah, especially considering they have no divisions now. So as, as soon as we destroy all these guys, I'm going to go ahead and look again at the uh, Japanese division count. Okay, yeah, we destroyed them. Uh, let's see, what are they at? Uh, 214. 2.14 million casualties. A lot. And let's have a look at their divisions here. Yeah, now they have 12 to 28 guys. They have almost no divisions with which to uh, defend their homeland. And yet they're still navally invading. And I am so happy about that. I can't tell you how happy I am about that. You stay here. You stay here. And these two port defense units can come down here. I'm not sure why they failed at their job. But yeah, we're, we're not going to do that. Okay. Communists start receding. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, we are short by 5 million supplies, of course. Why wouldn't we be? Uh, let's have a look at our decisions here. We don't necessarily need any war support decisions. But we could, since we have 548 or 543 political power. Uh, let's do... Okay, yeah, we'll do it against the Axis, Vichy France. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we are still doing war bonds. Reopen the Burma Road, yes. And what does that get us, precisely? It gets us a reopen Burma Road. Okay, I probably should have looked at that before I clicked it. Uh, we don't need any of these decisions. We don't need any evacuations. Let's go ahead and deal with the communist infiltration in Xi'an. And why not, while we're at it, do a counter infiltration sweep? Because we have just... We're, we have nothing but political power, guys. Alright. And coming down here, we have two free factories. Um, hmm. Let's put both of these into naval bombers, because that's what we need the most. Oh my god, how are we short so much aluminum? Oh, we have to sink the Japanese fleet, that's how. Yeah, okay, three subs gone there. We are doing some real tangible damage, guys. It's just taken forever. My god. Yeah, I don't... Okay, another sub sank. We're never going to gain naval dominance over Japan. We are only going to cause them headaches, I think. Okay, yeah, well, you know, we are starting to come up with... Okay, uh, actually, every day now, we're sinking one or two Japanese subs. So that, in itself, is actually quite good. Alright, free dockyards. Let's go ahead and put that into convoys as well, please, if we may. There we go. And what are we building? Okay, we're building... We're still building the port down here in southern Indochina. And we're also building uh, anti-aircraft along our coastline. Which is going to help us, I think. Should help us. Okay, yeah. It, it's going to help us. We'll, we'll be fine. And we do have a Japanese landing here. Let's go ahead and destroy them. Oh, wow. Look at their strength. Their strength is probably like 2%. 3%. Okay. Well, good for them. I don't know why they're launching invasions. That tells me that... Uh, oh, wow. Look at that. Four subs, two destroyers. That tells me that our... Uh, Cutting off the Japanese and destroying the divisions has had a much bigger effect than uh, they are willing to admit. Because now they are sending divisions at us with 3% strength. So they don't have the manpower and supplies to uh, recreate what they have lost against us. Uh, let's see, what's their manpower? Okay, around 4, I would say high 400s. Maybe 500k manpower, half million. Uh, not the kind of manpower where you could just do this. Start sending divisions out to their death against us. That's not something you should do. But it is going to help us quite a bit. Um, oh, wow. Look at all this. 
Look at all this. Sinking subs. After subs. After subs. After convoy. Anything else? Okay. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. We're not only taking it out of Japanese uh, manpower, but we're taking out their production as well. So what do they got? They got at least three battle cruisers, five battleships, five carriers. All right. It, yeah, it's going to be a long time before we make a big enough impact on them that they are going to allow us to do a naval invasion, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, they're taking the losses, and we, my friends, are dealing them out. Okay, we got infantry anti-tank one. Look at that. It is May 1943, so what are we going to do next? Uh, we should probably either do night vision or anti-tank two. Let's do night vision one. Because we are dealing with uh, Japanese invasions at all hours of the goddamn day and night, so. Oh, boy. Convoys. Yeah, convoys are going to be the thorn in our side for the rest of... For the rest of this playthrough, I can already tell. I mean, look at that. We're producing, basically, a convoy every two days. Oh, all right, and I forgot we were decrypting the Russian Soviet Socialist Republic cipher. <coughs> Pardon me. That's fine. We're, we're not going to use it, but we don't need to either. So let's go ahead and put uh, this tank division into the Marine Task Force. Uh, ooh, ooh, yeah. Okay. Some really stinky, danky damage against the Japanese. Um, yeah, now we're shrink we're sinking uh, destroyers by the twos now, which I'm really happy about. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, where are we on justifying against communist China? We should be really close. 30 more days exactly. And how are we doing with the German Reich uh, as far as infiltrating their army? Yeah, how's this doing? 135 days. Jesus Christ, that's a long time. I guess they do have a big army. Okay, so it'll be done on 21st of September. All right, so I'm not going to worry about checking that too frequently. Damn, I was really hoping to have those panzers this episode, but uh, I really don't think that's going to be the case. All right, we got the Chinese Hindenburg line, which gave us some free... Uh, Fortifications. Hmm. Okay, we cannot do the uh, Taiyan Arsenal. But we can do these. We could do the Refugee Relief Agency. Which would get us war support, but... Uh, we could also do that. Unemployment Assistance Consumer Goods Factory, plus 5%. No. But it's the only way to this research slot, so I'm going to do that, because we do need uh, our research. Oh, God, that's so frustrating that we have to basically just eat a bunch of uh, production delays to get to our next research slot, but whatever. I'm not going to cry too much. Okay, naval battle, yeah. And in, in this episode, I'm sorry, it's not going to be all naval battles. I'm just trying to see you now what, how we are faring, especially with uh, all of the naval bombers that we have fielded here, and what have we fielded? Okay, we got a wing of a hundred, wing of a hundred, uh, sixty-one TAC bombers. All right, so maybe ooh, okay, yeah, we are actually kicking their ass. Uh, let's go ahead and do months. Yeah, we've downed 422 of their fighters while only lost 95. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now, this strategy is actually working, so let's go ahead and put out some more naval bombers, if we may. Um, all right, so it'll be yeah, a wing of about 50, and we'll bump this up to 100, actually. And we will set them out here and do naval strikes. 
And we are going to just flood right here because that is like right in the middle of the Japanese supply line. So we are going to continue to flood right there. I think it is a better strategy than, um, you know, trying to hit all along our coast. We could do that with the amount of bombers that we have, but I don't think it would be quite as effective. I think saturating right now is our best bet. Uh, as well, you know, for the fact that, look, it's, we have air superiority here too. We are just downing Japanese fighter after Japanese fighter. They're not really able to stand up against what we're doing. So I'm happy. Uh, no, no. Communist contains, oh God. Always with the goddamn communist, right? Uh, and what are we doing here? I get, we should get rid of that although we did <laughs> this is good we did take uh british rajasthan territory due to the fact that the japanese invaded here and it looks as though we are getting a lot of this tungsten so i'm happy about that yeah and it looks as though the japanese have been cut off up over here so yeah they're not doing quite well over there either uh, we did get yet another division. Let's go ahead and train these guys. We're doing good. No enemy cipher is being decrypted. What am I doing? Did I already do the Japanese one? No, we could do the Korean one. Alright, well, yeah. Let's start decryption of the Japanese one. Jesus Christ, guys. Oh, I'm kind of embarrassed that I missed that. That's okay. That is okay, guys. Um, how are the Germans doing here? Yeah, they've absolutely stalled. In fact, they might finally be getting pushed back here. And it looks as though they are. Huh. It's too bad. It's too bad for the Germans. They... Oof. I really thought that they would push him back, you know, after they got past the uh, bottleneck here since I started the game with the rules that um, the Soviet Union is de-Sovietized. So all of these are free countries for the most part. But, huh. Yeah, I'm really surprised they lost so horribly. Because they, they are now getting turned back. It's it's, And you guys know once... Uh, Germany starts to get turned back. They don't stop getting turned back. Alright, we've got yet another unassigned division. Let's put them up here. Alright. And what are we creating division-wise? Okay, we got another infantry division on the way. We got mountain. We got marines. We got three tank divisions in production. And three port defense units in production as well. Okay, good. Good, good. Um, and literally nobody is guarding the port here. Are you serious? And here, Kuala Lumpur. Why is nobody guarding that? That is so infuriating. Alright, and we do... Okay, well, we at least have an armor division on the way there. And let's go ahead and take a second look at our armor divisions, guys, because... These things were not great when we first started it to begin with. They weren't good at all. So let's get these at least up to 20 combat width. And what we're going to do... Do we have... We don't have mechanized, do we? No, we do not. So... All right. So let's do this. We'll put two more into motorized. Uh, one more into medium tanks. Let's go ahead and give them a logistics company. A support anti-tank, which is really important, even for tank divisions. Engineer and support artillery. So we'll go ahead and save that. But what we really need is two more combat with. And this would put us up to it. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And I want a maintenance company, but we obviously do not have that. When we put them up to 40 width, uh, I'm going to add some anti-air. So let's go ahead and make sure that whatever divisions we have are training up. Because I'm almost positive we made quite a few changes to our infantry divisions last time. Or at least a change. Alright. There we go. Okay, yep. And they're all training up. Good. Good, good. 
Uh, non-aggression pact. Uh, beyond no. No. No non-aggression pact for you or for anyone in the Allies. Just not going to happen. So I'm not always going to be the good guy. Okay. All right. We're good there. That's fine. Um, I keep getting these alerts uh, for naval invasions, but obviously they're not happening. So I'm going to get rid of them. <coughs> Pardon me. I will know about the naval invasions when they happen. That's fine. Uh, Ace pilot promoted. Excellent. And what does that do for us here? Oh my god. We, yeah, we're just dominating. Dominating. Okay, we got an unassigned division. Let's go ahead and fill out the Marine Task Force. Which is truly no longer the Marine Task Force. They're just yet another army. I needed uh, somewhere to put divisions. Um... Alright, what do we got here? We got yet another military factory. Let's go ahead and put that into upgrading our fighters. Our fighter twos. Yeah, that's fine. And it looks as though we're having some oil issues. Uh, yeah, that's going to be all over the place till we get our uh, trade resolved. Our trade is just an absolute nightmare. <sighs> you know, I, I thought it would we would be doing better by, um, you know, having our trade convoys avoid certain parts of the sea here, but we're not able to function without that trade. And unless I can actually do some overland routes with some of our trades, such as steel, you know, I thought we'd be able to do more with uh, Russia, but as it turns out, we are not able to do any of that with Russia. So hang on. There we go. British Rajasthan. Okay, we could trade for six with British Rajasthan, but yeah. Guys, it's just, it's an absolute mess. Oh, man. See, we're trading for this much. We're sub allegedly trading for 120, and we're only getting 29, which means they're getting so many of our factories for free. Oh, my God. Because we only have 50 available convoys. Oh, God. Okay, so... I really thought that our convoys would be a lot greater than this. And what we're going to do, guys, is take this down. We are going to go blitz on our convoys. Because the sooner we get all of our convoys in order, the sooner we get everything else in order. Uh, let's go ahead and do... All right. That's not right. That's not right. Okay, we're doing 15 convoys. Uh, I'm sorry, 15 dockyards on that convoy. Let's do the remainder that we have here. And let's go up with that. Uh, nothing takes more precedence than our convoys right now. Okay, how's that doing? That's doing great. Ugh. Okay, the fall of Cairo, good, fine, whatever. Not our problem yet. And who fell? Ooh, okay. Egypt is its own faction. No, Italy controls all this. Okay. Good, good. Okay, so we have an unassigned division, and you are part of the Coastal Defense Army. You're about to be. And you need to be right here, as a matter of fact, so that these divisions can go elsewhere. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and we we do have free civilian factories, which is good. Um, our okay, good. Our radar is upgraded. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and build some more naval dockyards, guys, because we we have got to get this under control. We've got to get our convoys under control. No, I'm not building in Korea. Still not sure why I'm able to, guys. No idea why I'm able to build it in North Korea. I don't own them. We don't have a relationship. We have nothing, as a matter of fact. So, Okay, so this will likely do for here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and so let's do a synthetic refinery so we can trade for less oil. Uh, 60%. Okay, yeah, we're going to do, do fine on oil here pretty soon. 
Okay, good. Good, good. All right, get rid of these, get rid of that. Oh, okay, how are the spies doing? Communist threat defeated. Justification of conquering Shanzi. All right, guys. Now we win. Now we truly, we truly win. I don't think that they are still guaranteed by Russia. They are not, and likely because of the fact that we boosted their non-aligned to 53%. So let's declare war. We can do this. Yeah, they have a non-aggression pact with Russia, but that's it. Russia has its own problems right now, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, we'll set this yeah, to aggressive, and this army can go ahead and aggressively carry out whatever it is you do. Wait a minute. Why can we not... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, these mountains here uh, present a bit of a problem. So, all right. All right. So, yeah, let's all get in here. You guys don't need to be over on that side. Just come down this way. Right, Columbia capitulate. All right. We got the Camco P12, guys. And I believe that is our new fighter, is it not? Yes, it is. And we got to get it early because we had a focus which allowed us to um, get the P12 two years early. Uh, with no bon with no debuffs, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, where is it? It's still 1943, but I really, guys, I really want to start to do strategic bombing um, of Japan because we've already, you know, milked down all of their manpower. But if we do strategic bombing, we could possibly do a bit better. All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade this to the fighter three. And as a matter of fact, let's create a variant. We'll do at least one of each. And what does that look like for us? Air attack. Agility. Where is our agility? There we go. Yeah, agility plus eight. That is huge. Huge. So let's go ahead and do this. Because agility, guys, if you didn't know, is one of the single biggest um, bonuses that you want to have for your fighters. That's how you do the killing. All right, uh, fighter, yeah, here we go. All right, and for that, let's take down naval bombers by one and put one more into fighter. So we can upgrade the ones that we currently have out in the field. All right, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna roll over these idiots. We're gonna roll over the communist Chinese. It's not gonna take much to do so. No, oh, come on. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're about to take their fortified sectors. They aren't going to make it easy for us, are they? All right, let's get them capitulated, and then we are going to call it an episode, guys. Iceland capitulated. Well, well, big surprise. They have, like, one territory. All right, there we go. Yanan, let's take the capital, guys. Let's take the capital. Oh, we just got pushed back there. Interesting. Here. There we go. Uh, can we please freaking win here? Alright. Yeah, it won't take them long. That's good. Uh, well, I guess we could be doing some air support. Okay, we have air superiority, but... Uh, Alright, I guess we could give them some... Ground support. Bunch of crybabies. Inner fighter. Close air support three. Close air support two. All right. <clears throat> Let's give them all these. And we'll take this up to 100. And go here. And do close air supports. There we go. So we can just speed this along. I, I know. that We shouldn't be dealing with this. Awesome. Improved centrometric radar. Beautiful. We should be almost up to the max radar. Let's go ahead and do this. This will get us up to radar level 6. And let's go ahead and uh, produce those radars out here. Put you up to 5, and you up to 5, and you up to 5. And we will move those to the very top. There we go. 
Yeah, that's very important to me that we get that done. Because that is... Ooh, we're sinking German convoys now. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ace pilot promoted. Boom. Because we're just that good. Why is nobody going here? You guys are such idiots. Yeah, all of you, all of you come up over here, please. And why is nobody attacking here? See, this is why I'd, I really don't like giving the AI uh, exclusive control over my battles, because it's a bunch of dumbs. Alright. Alright, come on. Come on, get reinforced. Get reinforced. Get up there, get up there. Come on. Everybody go up here. And what are you doing? You, you're doing wrong. Okay, we got yet another marine division. So we will start yet another army. There we go, and we will train you up. There you go. And how are we doing out here? Okay, we are sinking convoys, kind of. Wow, okay, there goes a Japanese battleship. All right, so, because it is actually working, this slow but steady approach. Come on, can we please just end this already? This is nonsense. The, the, the war with communist China should not have gone on this long. And it's my fault for allowing the divisions to have their own say in the matter. All right, there we go. Everybody attack there, please. Alright, can we refresh this attack? That would be nice. No, we can't. Oh my god, just hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. I gotta give them credit. They are fighting back quite ferociously. But that doesn't make me any happier with what they're doing here. Yeah, you get in there as well. Uh, okay, let's try this. Since we have some armor divisions here now, let's try that. How does that look? And we're still losing. Still losing. Alright, can we attack here then? Let's... Okay, that looks like a maybe win. A potential win. Oh my god. This is so stupid. I had all this time to prepare for this particular attack, and this is this is what I get for it. All right. Uh, yeah, come on, come on, stay here, stay here. How are we losing? No, we are not going to lose there, guys. I absolutely refuse. Get all of you over here. You can't attack from that direction anyway. Oh my. Okay, well, we're we're going to we are going to win this battle, guys. Obviously, it's only a matter of time. I'm getting pretty sick of this goddamn nonsense. Let's go ahead and attack their capital. That's fine. So, guys, I guess we're going to finish this battle in the next episode. It's just going to be a huge grind fest and to their credit, uh, the Communist Chinese have put up a brave defense. They always knew this day was going to come. Uh, they knew that uh, we were going to come for their souls and their children and their wives at night, and we have done so. So we'll have to wait to see the uh, conclusion of that in the next episode. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because there's plenty more to come. And also, be sure, again, guys, to look down in the description below for the new Discord link uh, for the Mike Tannic server. I'm happy to have you guys. Can't wait to see you there. Can't wait to chat with you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.